And we developed a theory that, that the city all around us was a cloth and that the cloth was whole in some parts, tattered in others, maybe had a burn or two. But if you pull one of the threads, you'd pull the whole cloth with it. I think any time you're talking about planning of any kind, it affects you know the, so the body politic, it affects social uh, fabric. Because you're designing in a context, and if you don't design in a context, then you're looking inward to yourself. And every building is a community building that you need to look beyond the property lines to see what influences that particular design and who you're designing for. It's the people and the place. That's what attracted me so deeply to, uh, to, to RUDATS. A RUDAT is an on-site intensive study to work with a community to solve a local set of issues or problems. So many times the uh, power structure of a community calls all the shots. And this is not that type of program at all. What's essential, I think, about the RUDAT program is the fact that you work with the community. And it's amazing when a local community realize you're not being paid, you're just there because you love making cities better. Once they hear that, they tell you everything that you want to know that they would not tell a normal consultant. A consultant works for somebody. Root out teams work for everybody. The root out process starts with uh, a need. When a community goes through the process of making an application, doing the, doing the amount of homework that's required, it means that they're very concerned. The important piece about the evaluation is you really need to get to know the community and you gotta cut through all the crap. You talk to the real people and find out there is some issues here. Well, what are those issues? And who the team should be? Who needs to lead that team? It is completely interdisciplinary economists and land use planners and transportation people, sociologists, whatever the situation needs, the team will show up with these kind of resources. I think the important thing is the objectivity that the team brings. They don't have baggage and they're not looking for a job. The hardest thing that Ruta has to get across to the local community is what they need to do in the partnership with making a root out happen. We just don't come in and wave our arms and give them good advice. Uh, it's based upon a lot of hard work from the local communities. Eventually, maybe six months in the future or so, uh, the team arrives for four days and does their thing. It's the most intense uh, four days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I mean, it's just all out 24 seven. To people that aren't used to it, they get blown away. I mean, you're gonna work all night, you know, you're gonna do step late. But the fact is, people have a chance to come in and speak to the team very openly. You can only you can only do that if you have the open process and if you have people on both sides, the experts as well as the community and the mayors and the city managers, whatever. If having everybody talk honestly and openly about you know what the, what are the issues and what are their concerns. The better outcomes we felt were. They said, we didn't do anything the report told us to do specifically, but the process we went through to host your RUDAT team brought people together that had never talked together before. And we figured out we had common interest. I always thought that RUDAT was about giving hope uh, to people, to communities. It wasn't just hope or big ideas, but it was also uh, hope and ideas that were backed up by the team's experience, broad experience, deep experience. I mean, it's changed my life. I mean, my whole direction of professional changed drastically from a properly lined architect you know, to something that looked beyond that. Even though RUDAT is designed to help cities and towns and communities do something, I think it's 
it has helped me become a better practitioner. I think I bring more out of it coming home from Aruda than I think I leave behind. It'll be a question, a real question in my mind, to see uh, what will happen to the uh, program. Aruda is central to the reconstruction of our cities. We're not going to be able to do our cities from the top downwards. We have to do it through the collaborative, interdisciplinary effort and teamwork that the RUDAT has stood for from the very beginning. And RUDAT was a different approach, I think, to a lot of things that the has done. But, you know, it's lasted 45 years. It's gone through some ups and downs, but that's fine. It evolves. Where's going to evolve to next? Yeah.